Hey guys, this is Mike Riley, and this is my family pond. All right, this has been long talked about and not created, but finally I'm here. It's a slow day and it's hot as hell. It's, it feels like maybe, maybe it's 35 degrees Celsius here in Ontario, Canada in middle of June, 2022. Um, I talk a lot. I'm gonna try to keep this as, as uh, compact as possible, but I was inspired by a, uh, another channel, uh, the name slips my mind right now but a guy from Quebec uh, in Canada who made an awesome pond and when I started doing some landscaping on our rural property last year I thought you know this is a perfect place so so we moved out of Toronto in 2020 <clears throat> we moved out to Northumberland County about two hours away and uh, that's the trouble it's a little bit far you, you'd think you would find more wildlife living out here but I don't a lot of times I have a hard time finding things I've got mobility issues, so I can't go hiking through the forest. And most of my friends who shoot and have locations, um, you know, they don't live near here. So fast forward to we had our first child in in January of 2022, and then gas prices went up. And between time and cost, I thought, how great would it be to look out the window and see wildlife and be able to come out here and take photos without having to drive all over the place looking for things. So it's been a work in progress. Um, I'm not planning on putting any fish in this pond. This is, is designed for birds predominantly, uh, birds and mammals. Um, and I'm gonna flip the camera around in a minute and kind of give a, a walking tour. Um, but it's great, I mean, it's very hot today. There are, are dozens of birds around, numerous species. Um, the robins and the doves are probably, definitely the robins are the most friendly. I mean, they'll come out and sit here, but I was sitting on this bench. Uh, my dad made a bench for our, our pond. Um, the other day and, and as I was sitting here I had warblers and in, in the, the tree and having a, a drink and it's really great so I'm gonna give everybody the tour of how we did this I've got photos on on how we built it and you know some cost ideas um, I would say total cost so far was probably about a thousand dollars Canadian and it's a pretty big pond it's about maybe nine feet wide and 12 feet long and the depth tapers, but it gets down to about two and a half feet at the deepest. So I had actually rented a, uh, a bulldozer, a small piece of machinery to do some driveway work. And I thought, well, I have it. I said, why don't I dig out a pond? So I dug a big hole in the ground last year and didn't do anything with it through the winter. And uh, this year I got around to kind of budgeting how much I would need to, to get a liner and do all the jobs to finish it. And now it's done. So there's still a lot of work to be done with it, for sure. Cosmetic things um, and habitat. Um, but yeah, you know, so far so good. I've, I've had, uh, I'll, have, I'll post a list of species, but I probably had 30 species. The mammals have started coming out. I have a big female turkey who, uh, who she's here almost every night having a dust bath and having a drink. Uh, had our first deer the other day. Um, I've seen raccoons and foxes on the trail camera. Uh, a lot of people ask me too about bugs. Um, I mean, I'm starting to get a great ecosystem of, of water bugs. There's there's a bunch of dragonflies flipping around as I'm sitting here. Uh, but with the flowing water, I haven't had any mosquito larva, um, some black flies on the waterfall, but I'm looking at it right beside me here and it's clean today. So, so far so good. I planted a bunch of um, different plants for hummingbirds. So I'm hoping they kind of had a rough go, but they're still alive. So I think as they come up, maybe that'll be good for those guys too. So. So yeah, here's a, a bit more of a tour on how things go and you know, we'll have some drone footage and I'm gonna do a lot more of these. Okay, so here we go. So I sunk a little um, a little post into the ground to put my trail camera on. I haven't checked it in the last two days, but that's on the list. Uh, I got a little happy with the machine when I was doing the work and it's pretty heavy, so it chews up the grass pretty quick. Um, not a big deal though. I'll probably either dig out a blind or 
something here you can see even right here I don't know I don't know what that guy is doing just like slapping himself off the water oh and there's a big nasty wasp some kind of black thing yeah I don't know what's going on I don't, I don't know much about this stuff but uh, so the blind usually I put the blind here um, with the idea of kind of shooting out over the, the pond for reflections. I think the blue jay wants me to go away so he can get back to bathing, but my blind is blown away twice. We've had a couple of wind storms, uh, borderline tornadoes, that strength of wind. So right now the blind can just stay there. I don't think it can really blow away. They can't get through the trees, so that's sufficient. The robin's back. Um, pretty happy with the water quality right now. You can see there's a fair bit of algae that's grown in the last two days. Um, I have a rake. I just usually rake, rake it out. Um, that seems sufficient from everything I've read, and I guess we'll see if this comes true. But the idea is that if I have enough plant coverage on the surface, they will outcompete the algae um, and hopefully stop evaporation later in the summer. I don't seem to be evaporating much. Um, it's a pretty thick pond liner. I was worried a little bit about uh, leakage maybe. This thing got blown over in the last windstorm. The blind actually blew into the pond and knocked over this, this post. Um, so I have, I have these two posts kind of screwed into a board with a rock to hold them down. I don't think it's sharp enough, the wood, to, to puncture the liner. It's, it's 45 mil pond liner rubber, so it's pretty sturdy. Um, but we'll see. The water seems consistent. There's a thunderstorm coming today, so hopefully that'll help boost things a little bit. But plant-wise, I started with um, four hyacinths, which are these guys, and I think four water lettuce plants, and then the two lilies. So the lilies have done fantastic. Like, I mean, you can, I don't know if you can see through the glare, but there's a bunch ready to come. Hopefully they'll flower later. You can see like the root system maybe of the plants. Um, so the plants have definitely, I would say, tripled or quadrupled in the last few weeks. So we need more of that for sure. But, you know, we'll see see where we get. Uh, there's a fair bit of poison ivy back, back in here. That's, that might be some there. Again, I'm bad with plants, but I know there's definitely a lot under under these trees. Um, I need to, to trim back some of these branches here. These kind of get a little overhangy. It'd be nice to be able to walk through. So I'm gonna cut some of them back a little. Uh, the waterfall, pretty cheap. It was like a $30, just a $30 little tray. Oh, there's the black fly larvae. Well, whatever, something will eat it. So yeah, it's just the tray basically. Um, the, ho the pump was about a hundred bucks. I ran an extension cord to the house. Maybe I'll bury that later, but uh, so the pump basically, I used to have it as a fountain, just kind of splashing. And now I built the waterfall. I actually got all of the flagstone for free from uh, uh, Viking um, nurseries here in Northumberland County. So actually I got all my plants from them. So I got a few creeping jennies here on the side. Oh, we got a little, uh, I think that's a clay colored sparrow. He's saying hi. Uh, what else we got? So these, these cool perches, these are off a tree I took down in the driveway. Got some nice moss. I think something's been knocking that into the pond to maybe off to check the trail cam. Uh, but yeah, those came off that. Something, that's gross. Something took a big poop on that. So I'm gonna have to get rid of that. I have a lot of issues with animals pooping in the pond. They're disgusting. Uh, the birch branch, that came down off one of the trees when I was cutting grass the other day and it landed on my leg. So that hurt a lot, but. But yeah, essentially, I mean, the pond is pretty, pretty straightforward. I'm getting a little distracted here, but looking at all the maintenance I need to do. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, essentially, this is this is what we got. So, I've got the uh, kind of the angled, it's shallower on this side, then it angles down into the deep end. It's probably not deep enough to keep uh, keep critters like a turtle or something. Um, you can see, I mean, I'm, I'm about a foot higher on the other side than I am over here. So I haven't decided what to do about that. I, I w I'm thinking maybe I'll build up these banks. This is starting to feel like a next year pro project, but maybe I'll build up the banks um, so I can, I can get a little bit more depth. 
because another foot of water would be fantastic and it would probably open up like what kind of amphibians might live but there's already a lot of uh a lot of bug life when you start getting down closer to the water i don't know if you can see it on the camera but i mean things that looks like are laying eggs and starting to take root root which is really cool future plans i think i'm going to build a bog filter so i haven't decided how i'll do that if i'll build it a above ground or not and i'm thinking it's a scary wasp i'm thinking too i might dig like a second pond maybe somewhere over here like a deep pit maybe four or five feet deep and, and a third the size of this but then that could be something that uh you know like a turtle maybe could live in over the winter or something but uh yeah this is what we got I, like i mean i'm really happy with the clarity of the water other than the poop and the algae so um so far we're working i don't have a camera right now so i thought i'd try to get this done do some drone footage of it i said i got a little some little worm i can hear the thunderstorm starting so i'm gonna try to get a bit of work done here and then uh we'll see how we go Oh wow. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool, a raccoon camera <laughs> right up to the camera. Cool. Well, the uh <laughs> The weather is turning, so I'm gonna steal the trail cam and we're gonna see how much water gets filled up in this thing today. I got a good chunk of the algae. There's still, still a bit, but uh, I think that'll do for now. Just gotta get these plants multiplying. We'll be in good shape. Okay, it's a bit of work on the pond today. Things are coming along. But um, now that things are basically covered, it's time to start getting some actual decorating done. And all these ideas I have come with the fact that I've got a bad back and I keep hurting myself every time I come out here. So today I have a, uh, a helper, my wife, and uh, she's gonna move the big heavy rock all on her own. I'll help a bit. <laughs> <laughs> 